Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a couple of terminal buildings for your model airport. The kit that you get has the plans for two buildings. One, what we call the brick building, and the plan goal comes for two of these buildings and a connector building and have this optional little tower that you can put in or out. Or you can choose to do the terracotta building. Same thing, it's going to be two of these buildings with the tower. Let me show you real quick what the finished product is going to look like. Okay, so before we get started, you need to take the PDF file that you received and then choose which one, or if you want to do both, it's the same. In this case, I'm going to do today the brick building. So you're going to get the plans for, for the building, both terminals A and B. You're going to get the roofs for both buildings. You're going to get the plans for the little towers. And then you're going to get the uh, windows for all the buildings. What I recommend is for you to print this in some kind of glossy paper. You see how nice it looks, so the glass looks uh, a little glossier. In addition to your PDS, you're going to need some kind of box. And this box, you're going to need one for the connector building and, and two for, for the main building. You can build these guys out of balsa wood or if you can find some sort of styrofoam that has a nice flat surface so we can put the glue in there, that'll work fine. The dimensions for these boxes are included right over here. So you have to do one for the connector and two for the terminal. For example, on this one I use the styrofoam to build this terminal. So let's get started. Before we get started, there's a couple of things that I want you to know. First, these are the tools that you're going to need for this project. A sharp X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, glue stick, some sort of all-purpose glue, tape, a metal ruler, and a cutting board. Next, I want to show you the difference between a score and a cut. On the file that you're going to get, you're going to get something like this, where you have solid lines for cuts and dotted lines for scores. When you make a cut, you want to line up both of the solid lines and make a cut. You put enough force to get the blade all the way through. When you're doing a score, same thing, you want to line up your dotted lines, but instead of a lot of force, you want to do a very light cut. You don't want it to go through the paper. What happens is when you want to make a corner, after you score it, you're going to get a very nice sharp corner. I always like to get started doing my scoring first. As you can see, you're going to have places where it says score and a dotted line. That's where you need to line up your ruler to do the score. The score is, is almost a cut, but it's very light. You don't want to go through the paper. It's so that when you make the cut, then you can fold it and get a nice uh, square fold. So first of all, like always, you need to find your first score, put your blade on the dotted line, put the ruler against it, find the other uh, end of the score and line up the ruler. Once it's lined up, then you make a nice light cut. Again, you don't want to go through the paper, just very, very light. Go down to the next one. Very light. Go next to the next one. Very light. Go 
then these are lined up so you can make just one continuous score. So next, in the ceiling is a little tricky because you need to score from this point in the center to the outside to this line. This point in the center right here in the top of the triangle to the side and then the next scoring is from this point of this triangle to this point on the triangle. So let's do the one in the center first put the rule right there and then make sure you have the next point here so do a very light score and then from that point to the outside and then over here from that point to the outside. So let's do the other one again from the top of the triangle to the other triangle and then from here to the outside and then from here the outside. For the little towers it's very similar. The scoring goes from the center to the outside of each one of the smaller roofs. So from the center to the outside, from the center to the outside, and then we do the scoring over here. Now again, these guys are lined up, so you can go ahead and do one continuous score. Then we have one more to go here. Then on the windows is basically the same thing. These guys also lined up. So this one is kind of easy. Let's do the one scoring here. The one scoring there. Here. And here. And then you're done with the scoring. Okay, so now that we're done with the scoring, we have to do the cut. For the cut, we want to follow the solid lines. These other ones are going to guide you through where you need to cut. For this video, I'm just going to build terminal A. Building the, the other terminal is exactly the same way. I just want to save some time. So, as we did before, you find your cut line you put your knife in there and then you find the other line and line up the knife I'm sorry, line up the ruler so you can cut so here you make your cut
Then we're going to cut the roof for the connector building. Okay, so on these guys you need to cut little pieces for the for the little tabs. You can do this with a knife or maybe just a pair of scissors. And then over here we need to cut out this part and this part. this part and this this and that okay next we're going to do one of the roofs I like to start again from from the middle here on the top of the triangle to the outside just all the way around And for the towers, very similar from the center out from the center out and then just go around. And then this guy, to cut these triangles here, what you want to do is you want to find this diagonal here, and then the other diagonal will be right over there, right over here. So you put your blade here, and then you line up with that one over there, and then you cut this one. in that one and then you cut and the other way will be this one in that one and then you cut it will be this one in that one and then you cut
I've got these little tabs that we're going to use to glue the little tower to the roof. Now for this one, just like we did before, we have to get these uh, little tabby things cut off. You can either do it with the X-Acto knife or with scissors. To me it's a little easier just to do it with a knife. Last but not least, your glassware. So once again we find the line here, the line here, these are all connected so it's really easy to just go across one cut. This guy and that guy go cut across. Then just kind of go across for every single one. And then we do the uh, connector building. So to finish off to these guys, same thing. You want to cut the little corners. Okay, so all your cutting is done. Now we go into final assembly. Okay, so let's do the easy one first, the connector. You have your box, your sides, and the roof. So the first thing you do is you take your stick glue and you apply generously glue on the side. Make sure you get good on the ends. And then just take the side and glue it right on. Do the same thing for the other side. Make sure that it makes good contact. And then we do the roof. We're not going to put anything on either end here because it's going to be between the two buildings anyway, so you wouldn't see that. So this is basically your connector building.
Okay, so next we're gonna do the optional towers. So you got your pieces here. Let's start with the little roof first. You get a piece of tape. Turn it around. What we want to do is we want to put together these two ends. So the best way to do it is to fold this in, in half, bring these two together, and then with the tape make sure that they, they come together. And also you can you know bend it like this. So then with the scissors you trim out the excess tape. So this is your, your roof there. Next, we get another piece of tape. And this is to tape the tower. So we bend this one, and then we bend this one and bring them together. And then with the scissors, we want to cut this little piece of tape. Okay. So now we fold in the tabs. We get our glue. And then we glue these two together. So it's going to be a little lip all the way around it. And just make sure you press on the tabs. You can use a pencil so they make good contact with the roof. And that's your optional tower. Okay, so let's go now for the main building. We start with the roof. Just like we did before, fold it in half, fold it here, fold it here. Now you get a piece of tape. And we're gonna do this one side first. So we fold this and bring these two guys together, press on the tape, and we do the other side, bring these two together, we press on the tape, and then we just trim with the scissors. Okay, so that's your main roof right there. Now to assemble the rest of the building you're gonna have all these little parts. The way they go together is two glass sections in one of the brick sections in the middle. These go on either end, so they're, they're the same so they can go anywhere. What you want to do is the ones that have the double doors, double doors, and double doors, these three go together. And then this one that has the singular doors, no door, and singular, they go together. So once again, you get our tape, we want to get these three all put together as one unit.
you see it gives it a really nice effect when you have the glossy and then the brick is kind of like a matte so then we can either use a, a blade or a scissor to trim out the excess tape so we got that and then the other one make sure you have gate A1, A2, A3 and A4 in that order so once again you get some tape then we just trim it out okay so now let's get our box this is the box that we're going to be using for this similar to what we did before this time I want to put the ends first and then the front and the back so we want to put plenty of glue and then a little bit of glue on either end so when we get our end sides we fold here, we fold here Just line them up and glue them. Now we do the other side. similar fashion you want to glue them so they they're nice so now we do the front and we do the back so let's go with the front make sure you put some glue Be generous with the glue. And we just put the front in there. Now we do the back, same way. Putting plenty of glue. And we set the back in. Okay. So now we take the tabs, we fold them in. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue the roof. Okay, so now we get some glue start putting some glue on the tabs
and then we put the roof on. So then what you want to do is you want to press down, make sure it's making good contact with the tabs. And where you're done, you have your main building. Okay, so now that your building is finished, you have the option, as I mentioned before, that you can have it with the tower or just without the tower. Now you can either just put the tower on top and let it sit there, or if you need to glue it to the building, what you do is you take the, the two little tabs that we took before, you go ahead and put a little glue on one side of the tab and then you glue it to this side here. Then you take the other tab, you put a little glue on it and then you do it to the opposite side. So now you have to wait until this gets nice and strong, you know, the, the glue dries. Once the glue dries, what you do is you put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, and then just press in place. And then that, that will glue the tower permanently into the building. What you have seen is the same procedure to do the second building for the airport and also the exact same procedure to do the terracotta building. So I hope you like it and good luck.